Happy morning to all. Today we are going to learn about the unit 4. The previous three units are over. Today we are going to learn the new lesson that is called transition metal and inner transition metal. This is our new lesson. Uh, about the introduction about the transition metals, all of you know that one. The metallic elements that have incompletely failed D or F subset in the neutral or cationic state are called transition metal. We are saying that incomplete, incomplete in the D subset and F subset. Okay? The metallic elements they have incompletely filled D and R F subset. Okay, F subshell in the neutral or cationic states are called as transition metal. This definition is included for the F block element that is also called as lanthanides and octanoids. The transition metals of an element which atoms have an incomplete D subshell. Transition metal is particularly about the incomplete D subshell. D subshells are incomplete. Maybe occupation of one electron, two electron, three electron, like that, up to ten electron. The in incomplete desubstitution. That elements are called as what transition elements. Okay. Here transition metals maybe uh, uh, mostly we are using our building materials. We are using iron, one of the transition metals, and also copper. We are we are using the electrical wires. These are very important the transition metals, and also uh, the about the titanium, sorry, titanium, okay, titanium is a manufacturer of artificial joining. For our artificial joining, we are using the titanium. And also, molybdenum is used for the boiler plant, boiler plant, and also platinum, also, we are using a catalyst. This is going to play a vital role in our daily day life, okay. It's a, and also, about the hemoglobin, in also in our blood. And also about, about vitamin B, B12, B12 and B6, etc. Also we are having in our transition elements. Next about the position of position in the periodic table. Where the occupation of uh, transition metals is a periodic table. That is in the middle, middle area, in the long form of periodic table, the modern periodic table, the transition metals has a, in the middle of the periodic table. The one side is an S block element and another side is an B block element. The below is an inner transition metal that is called as an F block element. The middle area that is called, we can be, there we have a 3D series, 4D series, 5D series, etc. Having some series. For example, the first 3D series is goes to scandium to zinc. Like that, the atomic number starts with 21. 21 to uh, atomic number zinc is certainly 30. If you have 10 elements, that the particular area having 10 elements, these are the transition elements. Transition element occupying group number 3 to group number 12. Group number 3 to group number 12 is occupying in the modern periodic table. And about the group number 1 and group number 2 are the yes block elements and group number uh, 13 to group number 18 are called the P block elements. Okay, anyhow, D block elements are common uh, having 3D series, 4D series, 5D series, etc. The 3D series starting with scandium, scandium to zinc, that is atomic number 21 to atomic number 30. And also the, uh, about the fifth period, fifth period means there is a 4D series, it is starting with yttrium to cadmium, yttrium to cadmium. And about the, uh, the and this series also having 10 10 elements. Okay, 10 10 elements. That means 3D series have 10 elements, uh, 4D series have 10 elements, 5D series, uh, 5D series also having 10 elements. Like that, uh, it is arranged like that in the modern periodic table. Okay, anyhow, these are the about the introduction about the transition metals and about how this is an important question how you write the electronic configuration of uh, transition elements. Today, our learning objectives. What is the learning objective? Uh, learning objective means to how to write the electronic configuration of metal copper and also metal chromium. It's a very very important question. Metal copper and also metal chromium. How to write the electronic configuration? Please always take your note and write the electronic configuration. The electronic configuration.
the electronic configuration how can we write for the uh, transition model element how can you write here first you should be write fill with forest orbital before 3d orbital well if you know that how to write the electronic configuration that is first to start with the 1s 1s next year above 2s 2p next 3s 3p 3d next 4s 4p 4d 4f 5s 5p 5d 5f 6s 6p 6t 6f 7s etc okay here all the subset all the s subset we can be accommodate two electron that is a maximum two electron all the p subset we can be accommodate uh, six electron the maximum electron six and the d subset we can be accommodate ten electrons the maximum ten electrons and the f subset we can be accommodate forty electrons this already we learned in the of our principle and also hans old hans old okay here first one one is next two years next two p three years next three p four years next three d four p five years Next four D five P six S. This is the order. Okay. Start with first you start with this year one S. Next two S. Next two P three S. Next three P four S. Next three D four P five S. Etc. Okay. As per the line you should be right. Okay. Here. According to our principle, the electron first fill the forest orbital before 3D orbital. Before the 3D orbital, we should be right forest orbital. This is the as per the our principle. Am I right? We can be a right. Uh, for example, we can be right with the first element. Okay, that is a scandium. Okay, a scandium. The atomic number of scandium is. Twenty-one. What is the atomic number of scandium? Twenty-one. Because the three D start with three uh, D is start with scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, uh, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and also zinc. This is the first three D transition element. Here, how we, how can you write the scandium? Okay, can you say start with one S? E C is equal to How do you write EC? How much EC means electronic configuration? Electronic configuration for scandium. One s how much electron can be accommodated? Two electron. One s the maximum two electron. Next one two s how much electron? Two s all s subset we can be accommodated two electron. Next one two p am I right? Two p how much electron the maximum? Six electron. Next who is the next one after two p? As per the line, right? After two p, which one? Three s, three s. How much electron? Maximum two. All s subset we can have only two electron. Next, there is a ten twelve over three s. After that, three p, three p is six. Next one, four s, four s. Okay, right? But here, as per the transition series. Before the forest, you should be right three. Clear? Before, after the three P, don't write the forest. Before the forest, you should be before you should be right three D. So three P, then you should write three D, three D. Next task, you should be right forest. Okay? So okay, forest. All of you know that one. How much electron? Two electron. So okay, now we count it. Two, 
4, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 18, 20. Scanning is about 21. So 3D1, 4 plus 2. Clear? Can I write? Have it out. As per it should be right, this all and there is 1 s 2, 2 s 2, 2 p 6, 3 s 2, 3 p 6, 4 s 2. Then only it should be right, 3 am right. As per the transition series, according to alpha principle, the electron first fill the 4 s orbital. The 4 s orbital. The electron first fill which one? The 4 s orbital before 3D orbital. Okay. Okay, first fill right which one? Uh, first to fill the forest orbital before 3D orbital here. So as per here, you write this one. It is a scan here. Then how can you write the short form of this electronic configuration? This we wrote in a full form. How can we minimize? How can we short this electronic configuration? That we can be written as uh, the nearest noble gas. Uh, nearest to noble gas, yesterday I told you about that the noble gas about the, what is the number of helium helium can be given as 2 next neon 10 argon 18 krypton 36 etc ok etc I am not trying full ok here the nearest to noble gas which one is the nearest to noble gas the scandium the atomic number is 21. Nearest 21, nearest which one is? That is 18. Okay, am I? So we can be written as 18. 18 is the nearest to noble gas. That is argon. Am I? So we can be written as argon, scandium, argon, argon how much over? That is 18 over. Am I? 18 over. That means 18 means 1 s 2, 2 s 2, 2 p 6, 10 over, next about 2, 12 over, then 16, okay, 10, 12, 12 plus 6, sorry, 18, 18 over. For writing this much configuration, it should be cut short and write, at that place it should be write R gone, A R. You should be write the remaining configuration that is argon 3d1 4s2. This is the electronic configuration for scandium. Okay, can you write this one? Instead of this one, this, this configuration, you should be cut short and write argon. Clear? Argon 3d1 4s2. This is the configuration for scandium. Clear? And also, here, the filling of 3D orbital is complete in sync. Okay, here uh, the in the 3D series, the last element uh, in the 3D series that with, uh, start with scandium, scandium to ends with is that is that means sync. What is the atomic number of sync means? Atomic number is 30. What is the atomic number of sync? Atomic number is 30. Then how can we write the atomic number of uh, electronic configuration for sin? Okay. Electronic configuration for sin. Uh, we can write that one. Once again start with here. Electronic configuration of sin. That is, is equal to 1s2 1s2 2s2 Next one. After the 2s 2p 2p6 Next after the 2p, 3s2. Next, 3p6. Next, 4s2. Okay, don't write the 4s2. You should be write 3d. Okay, uh, 3d. 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 10. Uh, next, after 3d, then write 4s2. Okay. Uh, the atomic number of thing is is it on, uh, 30. The nearest noble gas. The nearest noble gas is not krypton. The nearest is which one? Argon. Okay. Uh, krypton means again we need uh, more than 6. Am I right? 36 is the krypton. But since the atomic number is 
13. So the nearest is R0. So for writing uh, this configuration, we can be minimized, we can be cut short. Electronic configuration is equal to how do you write? Argon, argon, ah, this much we can write argon, what is the remaining? 3D10 4S2. This is the electronic configuration of is a 10 thing. Can you write? And filling the 3D orbital is complete. Is it complete? The D subshell is complete or incomplete? The D subshell is complete for sync. This electronic configuration is argon, 3D chain and 4S2. Okay. So, and one more problem is uh, from the problematic question. Write the electronic configuration for chromium and also copper. Write the electronic configuration for chromium. The chromium symbol is CR. Chromium metal. Chromium. The symbol of chromium is CR. Okay. The atomic number of chromium. The atomic number of chromium is equal to 24. How can you write the electronic configuration of chromium? This is one of the two more questions. Electronic configuration of chromium and also the electronic configuration of copper. Okay. First you write the chromium. Okay. Start with the oneness. EC is equal to electronic configuration is equal to start with the oneness. 1s2. Next one. 2s2. Next one. 2p6. After that 2p. 3s2. Next one. 3p6. Next one. Uh, don't write the first. Uh, 3d. 3d. Next 4s2. Okay. 4s2. Okay. 4s2. Can you write? Okay. And now you count the atomic number. 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 2, 20. Okay, don't write here 4. If you are writing 4 means 24, it is okay. The electronic configuration of chromium is okay. But it is wrong. Okay, you should be a third, one electron. 2d subshell that is 3d5 4s1 okay how do you write 3d5 4s1 this is the correct electronic configuration the actual electronic configuration that is working 3d4 4s2 that is working but it is the correct electronic configuration we are expecting the d subshell is half filled for example they are writing the half filled stability for the stability this is the 3d 3D subshell. Okay. So you are writing 5 electrons. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is stable. 3D5. 3D5. So we are writing that. And about the force, this is stable. Half filled. This is a lot. Forest 1. Forest 1. This is half filled. This is the actual electronic current electronic configuration of chromium. How do you write? Here, this can be a cut short and we can write the cut short. That is a short form of writing. We can write as EC is equal to instead of this, we can be right argon. Am I right? Argon because the atomic number of argon is 18. Okay. So, we should be right 2, 4, 10, 12, 12 plus 6, uh, 18, so R gone, R gone, next remaining, 3D5, 4S1, this is the electronic configuration of chromium. Can you write? Have it out? Next, and also one more question, write the electronic configuration of copper, okay. Write the electronic configuration of copper. Okay. 
What is the symbol of copper? Cu. The symbol of copper is Cu. The atomic number of copper is 29. What is the atomic number of copper? 29. Then how will you write the electronic configuration of copper 29? Start with the oneness. Electronic configuration of copper. Uh, start with oneness. Oneness, how much electron can be accommodated? All the yes subshell we can be accommodated. The maximum electron is 2. All the P subshell we can be accommodated. The maximum electron is 6. All the D subshell we can be accommodated. The maximum electron is 10. And all the F subshell we can be accommodated. The maximum number is number of electron is 4D. So, 1 less, 1 less, 2. Second one, the line is over. The second line, 2 years, 2 starting with here, okay? The ends with here. The ends with the arrow. And next one, 2P6. After the 2P, 3S. 3S2. Next, 3P6. After 3P6, don't write for us. Ah, 3D. 3D. 10. Next one. 4S. 4S1. Okay? Shall we count this one? 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 6, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 12 plus 6, 18. 18 plus 10. 28. 28 plus 1, 29. This is the actual configuration. Okay? Then how can you write the short form of this electronic configuration of copper? Short form. How can you write the electronic configuration? Short form. For writing this, this much, we can be write AR. Am I right? So, we can write as AR. Argon. Argon. Because the atomic number is 18. So, Argon. What's the remaining? 3D10. 4S1. If you write like that, if you are writing actual configuration, that is AR. 3D9 4S2 means it is not a stable form. Okay, this is not a stable form. Wrong, wrong. This is the correct. Because 3D subshell begins to completely fill for the stability. Okay, 3D subshell is completely filled. Okay. In case of copper and also chromium. Okay. They write capital. Okay, it's a very important question for the two-man question. Argon 3D10 4S1. This is the electronic configuration of uh, copper. Okay. And also, uh, the electronic configuration, what is the general electronic configuration of D block element? That's the question. What is the general electronic configuration of D block element? D block element general electronic configuration. We are writing one noble gas, okay? Noble gas. For transition metal. General electronic configuration for transition metal is we can be done as noble gas. N minus 1. We are taking N minus 1. Okay. N minus 1. D 1 to 10. Can you write? N minus 1. D 1 to 10. And also N S 1 1 2 2. Okay, that is the general electronic configuration of transition metals. Here N is, e, N is equal to 4 to 7. Here N is equal to 4 to 7. Okay. okay. Listen all of you. This is the mother. This is the actual general electronic configuration for transition metals. That only we wrote in the, uh, in the previous candium to uh, sink. Am I right? Here we should be right. 1, the D subshell should, should be accommodated the electron 1 to 10 
and also n subshell we can be accommodate 1 to 2 clear this is the here we are using the nearest novel gas sometimes it may be neon neon is not possible argon sometimes krypton okay so now like that which novel gas is nearest is be like the nearest novel gas there and also n minus 1 uh, d 1 to 10 n is 1 to 2 this is the general electronic configuration for transition metal okay and also this is for the uh, uh, and, 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 and about for the inner transition element that is the f block element inner transition element for f fr metal okay f fr metal we can call as noble gas Here we are using here n minus one. Here we are using n minus two. N n minus two. Okay. Here n minus one. N minus two. Here having d subshell and here having f subshell. F subshell means we are using fourteen. Okay. Here we are using fourteen. And next n minus one. Again we are finding n minus one d one two. 10 ns 1 to 2 ns 1 to 2 this is the uh, f orbital that is here we are using that that is f block element the, the general electronic configuration okay for the f block element we are using the general electronic configuration that the normal gas n minus 2 f 14 n minus 1 d 1 to 10 n s 1 to 2 what about the transition model here what is the transition model about noble gas 1 minus 1 d 1 to 10 n s 1 to 2 okay this is about the one way the question next about the metallic behavior what about the metallic behavior Metallic behavior, all transition metal elements, all transition elements are metal. All are metal. Okay, all transition elements are metal. Transition elements are good conductors and heat and electricity. Okay, good conductors. About the metallic behavior, first one, all of you know that one. All transition elements are metal. They are good conductor of heat and electricity. And except the 11th element, except the 11th element, the group 1 and group 2 of the transition elements are hard. Okay? Group 1 and group 2, all the transition metals, except 11th elements are hard. Okay? And also, silver has the highest electrical conductivity at room temperature. This is the one way one to question. Which metal has the highest electrical conductivity at room temperature? That's a one way question. Silver has the highest electrical conductivity at room temperature. Next about the melting point. Melting point about the transition metal. Melting point about the transition metal here the first condition we are plotting the graph about versus uh, Kelvin okay plotting the uh, one of the graph versus Kelvin in 3D transition series Kelvin this is for the 3D 3D okay 3D series element First scan here. Start the scan in the 3D series having 10 element. Am I right? 10 element. After this, the 10 element, first start the scandium. The, now the scandium, the melting point is slightly increasing. Okay? Slightly increasing. 
then again it should be increasing this is scandium this is titanium okay and then titanium this is about the vanadium then like like almost constant value to chromium okay chromium okay then about the multi point is decreasing for manganese yn okay this is now decreasing and the iron is also slightly increasing that is fe okay that is iron fe next about cobalt cobalt and about the nickel okay cobalt nickel and again copper next about zinc this is the condition okay first is scandium here uh, you should be learn the scandium what is the melting point of scandium is 1814 kelvin okay what is the melting point of scandium 1814 kelvin and also about the vanadium here i take the vanadium 2183 2183 kelvin okay 2183 kelvin and and the proportion that come nearest to close to chromium next the melting point is 2180 kelvin these are all the for one well question okay first what is about the scandium melting point 1814 kelvin it is slightly increasing about 2183 kelvin that's almost close to chromium that is 2180 kelvin next about the melting point is the decrease decrease that is 1519 kelvin 1519 kelvin for manganese next about also slightly increasing and they get decreasing and comes to again comes to last also decreasing here why it is decreasing that's the question why yn is decreasing and also is it and decrease here one of the very good ordinary question it is due to d5 configuration which configuration d5 configuration d5 what is about the d5 configuration let us see can we discuss okay anyhow the first series the melting point increases the first series first series means we are taking 3d series 3d series 4d series 5d series 60 series series etc all right that is the first series that is 3d series the melting point is increases from scandium scandium what is about the maximum melting point 1814 kelvin and to a maximum about about vanadium 2183 kelvin okay which is close to 2180 for the chromium all right however the manganese 3d series that's uh, and also technetium in 4d series it is also happen in 4d series 4d series that is instead of magnesium there is a technetium 4d series a technetium and 3d series is manganese okay and they have low melting point okay low melting point and about the the maximum melting point about the middle of the transition series indicates d5 configuration d5 configuration how can you calculate the d5 configuration okay uh, we can be right that one uh, that is a easy uh, electronic configuration how do you write the electronic configuration for manganese okay that is uh, electro atomic number of manganese is 25 manganese atomic number is 25 okay how do we get electronic configuration argon 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 means that is 18 over what's the remaining out of 18 uh, 3d 
3D, 5, 4, 2. Okay? That is 18 over 18 plus 20. 18 plus 2, 20, 25. This is the electronic configuration of manganese. Okay, please do it. Uh, write the full this uh, electronic configuration as per the alpha principle. You should be right. Then we get the answer argon for the manganese argon. A R that is 18. A R 3D5 4 S2. 3D5 4 S2. Okay. Here M2 plus what is the configuration? This is for manganese electronic configuration. But I am asking the question. What is the Mn2 plus configuration? Mn2 plus. Mn2 plus means it is a loss of two electron. Loss of how much electron? Loss of two electron. Loss of two electron. That means this nanket is a loss two electron from S subshell, not D subshell. It lost which subshell? S subshell. So the electronic configuration of manganese 2 plus is equal to argon 3d5. Here it lost 2 electrons from S subshell. So the configuration becomes 3d5. 3d5. Okay, 3d5. This is about the uh, flow chart. That is the graph plotting. We get the uh, this answer about the multi point slightly increasing from starting with decreasing, then increasing, then decreasing, then increasing, then decreasing. And they have about also ZN2 plus. ZN2 plus means it lost two electrons. What is the actual electronic configuration of ZN? ZN means sin, the atomic number is 30. What is the atomic number of sin? 30. How do I write the electronic configuration? EC is equal to R gone. R gone means the 18 over, out of 30, 18 over. What is the remaining? 3D10 4 us 2. That is 18 plus 2, 20. 20 plus 10, 30. Okay, now what is Z and 2 plus? Z and 2 plus means it lost 2 electrons from 4 up subshell. So what is the actual configuration? R on 3D10 configuration. R on 3D10 configuration. Clear? Assignment to the assignment. Write the electronic configuration configuration of chromium and the copper metal. Okay, write the electronic configuration of chromium and the copper metal. Okay, thank you all for time. Have a nice day.